Hello, Seahawk families and students. Uh, welcome. I am Mr. Wolanski. I am one of our assistant principals here on campus. And today I'm going to be walking you through our back to school safety information uh, for students and families in preparation for our students to return to in person hybrid school on November 3rd. So today we're going to cover a, a variety of things. Uh, we're going to talk about our mask requirements on campus, um, student drop off and pick up, entrances and exits on uh, to campus. Uh, we'll take a look at our passing period routes. Uh, we'll, we'll be taking a look at our uh, campus map as well. Um, and we'll take a look at our classroom setup and just some other additional uh, safety features that we have going on to make sure that we are keeping each other safe. We are keeping uh, your child safe and that we're making this a positive environment for them to come and learn every day. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is that face masks are required on campus. So I think it's really important to note that as soon as you enter our campus, and that includes the outside, um, that your face you will be required to have your face mask on. So that includes if you are a student who is parking your vehicle in our student parking, you'll need to put your mask on um, as soon as you exit your vehicle. Uh, this includes all of our parking lots, um, and this includes and this includes uh, anywhere that you enter campus grounds, even along the exterior sidewalks that run along um, Warner and Gothard. Uh, the next thing I'm going to cover uh, is pickup and drop off. So um, here's our campus map. This is posted to the school website. Um, so right now I'm just going to have you focus on these two areas that we're looking at right here. So if you look up at the top of the map, you'll see that this is Warner Avenue uh, that runs across here and is represented by this line. And then this is our uh, Warner parking lot, which is also our student parking lot. So you'll notice that we have one space uh, for pickup and drop off uh, right here in the Warner park parking lot. Um, and then if we uh, look on this side here, we have Gothard Avenue that's represented by this line uh, right here. And then we have our second pickup and drop off space right here, um, which will be accessed by our internal road. Uh, that runs along, uh, that can be accessed from Gothard Avenue uh, in between the pool and the adult school. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like with a video. So here we have our drop off and pickup video. The first spot is our internal lot drop off um, and pickup zone. So you notice here we have our, I'm going to circle it for us. We have our white van here that's representing a uh, student or parent vehicle, somebody being dropped off by their parents. Go ahead and keep the video rolling. If you notice, uh, this this is our uh, access road that runs, that can be accessed from Gothard. Uh, our video is sped up, so we're not actually driving this fast through the lot, um, but to make this video a little shorter, uh, we decided to speed up the video. So you'll notice that they pull all the way up to this planter area right here. And you'll notice this is this area right here is drop off zone number one. So you'll notice in our video here, the van pulls up and our imaginary student gets out and they will access campus through here. Uh, and they're uh, this will lead to our entrances uh, to campus that we will show you in just a few minutes. Uh, the drop off the van will proceed through along the exterior road uh, of the road along uh, the internal lot, keeping to the outside, and they will continue to loop through and make their way all the way over here back to where they can access uh, Gothard Avenue. So they will be able to take a, a right and to proceed uh, to exit campus. So that's 
uh, that is drop off zone number one and pick up zone number one. So our second space that we're going to have for you guys uh, to drop off and pick up your students is in the Warner parking lot, uh, which will also be um, where our grab and go lunch is located. And I will cover that in our video as well. So we'll go ahead and jump in here. Here again, we have uh, our supervision van uh, pretending to be a parent dropping off their student. They're going to enter the Warner lot in the entrance closest to the tennis court. Uh, they're going to loop through here around the exterior of the lot. And then right here is going to be where they're going to go ahead and get out. And then they can access campus this way uh, through these stairs. So uh, if they have a class in the main building, they'll head this way towards the lower patio, which again, I will show you in a little bit. And then if they have a class in the 600s, they can enter and access the 600s that way. The other piece to note is that grab and go lunch is located right here under these uh, under these easy ups that we have located right here. So if a student needs to grab their lunch, uh, you can pull up. Student can hop out, grab their lunch real quick, and then uh, they will continue to to pull their vehicle through the rest of the parking lot and all the way to, to the Warner exit. So the next piece that we're gonna talk about are our campus entrances, entrances and exits. So this is gonna be probably the trickiest part for our students to um, get used to um, because we do have specific entrance only and exit only spaces on our campus. And I'm gonna go back to our map to show you uh, some of these. And then we're gonna have a video that's gonna help kind of illustrate it for you as well. Um, so for example, we have some spaces on campus that are going to be both entrances and exits. So for example, I'm gonna circle this one right here and this one right here. So these are our, um, entrances to the 600s area, um, which are outdoors. They're large gates. Um, so these are gonna be two way. Um, and then we'll have some spaces that are exits only. So if you look on the map here, I have exit only located right here. This is our um, ex entrance and or this is our exit to the 100 and 200 building. Uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like again through our video. Uh, there's another exit only right over here. Um, that's um, our exit from the 300 building. Um, and then we also have one entrance that is by appointment only. So it's important to note that this area I'm circling right here is our main entrance to campus where the front office is, where the Gothard parking lot is. That area is going to be by appointment only. Uh, so it's important to note that. So back to our video. Um, we are going to take a look at what one common area might be. So a lot of our students enter campus from the corner because they walk. Um, so that you, they enter from the corner on uh, Warner and Gothard, right by our main sign right here. So we're going to do a little fly through video here and show you we're going to go all the way around campus and we're going to show you where all of our entrances and exits are so you can visually see them. All right, so we're gonna have our imaginary student walking through campus here. So our first uh, entrance and exit is located right here. This is our, uh, this area over here is our 600 building. And when you see uh, we have one of our main gates here, students will be able to both access campus entering and exiting from here. So if you walk to campus in your first period, is in uh, the 600s, uh, you, your student may want to access campus uh, by going this way. All right, we're going to continue to loop through. So here we are in the front of campus. Um, I think it's a really important to note that this is our Gothard parking lot. 
So as long as we're here, something I want to note that this parking lot is for staff and appointment appointments only. You may only park in this lot if you have a previously scheduled appointment with a staff member on campus. All right, so we're going to continue looping around. Uh, so we'll show you uh, right here. We're going to have both. Uh, we're going to have an entrance over here and we're going to have an exit over here. So the first thing to note is that this gate right here uh, will be open for students uh, and they can access, uh, if they walk through this way, they can access the 600 building this way as well. Uh, these doors located right here are a, an exit only. So it's important to note that this is going to be an exit only. Um, and that will be an exit for the 300 building. Uh, we're going to continue to loop through. Get the view of the exit. And there's the entrance. And we're going to keep moving through. And then as we move this way, uh, we're going to show you uh, this is uh, a specific entrance and exit. So if we look right here, this doorway, whoops, let me fix that. This doorway right here is our entrance and our exit to the Business Academy. Um, so if students have either Mr. Volo or Mr. Keating for any of their classes, uh, they may use this doorway to, um, to access that classroom only. Uh, if you have a class in the 300s that is not Mr. Volo's or Mr. Keating's, you may not use this entrance uh, to cut through. Uh, so it's important to note that Mr. Volo and Mr. Keating will be out there covering the door to make sure folks are following that protocol. All right, so we're going to keep looping around to the front of campus, and we're going to show you another one of our main entrances that we have right here. I'm going to go ahead and pause right here. So this doorway right here is going to be access to the 300 building. Uh, so um, students will be able to enter to get into the 300 building this way, and it's going to be one way. That's going to be an entrance only. Uh, this doorway right here is our actually the exterior door to the nurse's office. So uh, students will not need to worry about that doorway right there. So now we're going to continue to loop to the front of campus. And here we have our supervision staff. Um, this is our main entrance to the building. Um, it is important to note that students, this will not be a student access point. Um, this is for staff and by appointment parents only. So if you do not have an appointment, um, we do not take walk-ins. Um, you should schedule an appointment in advance, and this will be the uh, this will be the entrance that you use to access campus. And then, if you notice right here, we have our supervision staff here manned at a table outside. Um, in order to access campus, you will need to do a temperature screening um, as well as a COVID-19 uh, exposure screening questionnaire. Um, Again, that's just one of our protocols to make sure that we ensure that we're keeping campus as safe as possible. Okay, so we've left that area, and now we are going to head to another one of our campus entrances. Um, and this entrance is going to be for students who need to enter and access the 400 building. So this point right here is where students will access that. That door will be um, supervised and open uh, for students to enter only. It will not be an exit, it will be an entrance only. So here we have Mr. Nahara's room. Uh, that's room number 417. So if you have Mr. Nahara um, either for AVID or for English or for um, any of his other classes, you may enter. Um, you may enter his classroom from this exterior door. Okay, so we've looped back around, 
And now we are in the back of campus. So a couple of things to note. Uh, we have our, uh, our book room is located. Oops. Our book room is located right here. Again, you need to have an appointment to access the book room. Um, the uh, appointments can be made on the school website. Um, then we'll also have another entrance and exit right here for the auto shop. This will be speci specifically if you have automotive. Um, this doorway will be open. Uh, this door here will be propped open as well. So if you have auto, you may access uh, the automotive classroom uh, through there. And we're going to keep moving forward. And we're going to arrive right over here. So this right here is um, specifically the exit to the 400 building. So this is going to be an, another exit only point. This is not an entrance. Um, so students will flow from the 400 building out this way um, to whatever classes that they need to go to next. In order to do that, they're going to loop through which I will continue to show you along our route right here. Okay, so we've looped back around and here we are at our upper patio area. So this is gonna be one of our main entrances uh, to campus. This will be, uh, this again will be an entrance only. So students who need to access their classes um, will enter through here and they will enter whichever hallway uh, from here that they need to go do. So if they need to access the 400s, they'll enter from here and they'll take a right. If they need to access the 300s, they'll enter th through here, uh, quickly cut through the commons and um, head into the 300 building. If they need to access the commons restroom, they will enter through here as well. And then our commons restroom is located um, right over this way. We're going to continue moving forward. And then here we have looped through to our lower patio area. Um, and again, here we have, let's go ahead and let our video, there we go. Um, here we have one of our other entrances into campus. So the girls' restroom in the commons can be accessed this way. And again, this is entrance only. So everything will be flowing one way into the building here. Uh, if a student has a class in the 100s or 200s, they will move that way. Uh, if they have a class in the 300 hallway, they will go in through this entrance and they'll access the 300s from the commons area right there. So again, this is entrance only. It's uh, important to note that, th that these will be one way so we can keep uh, this, the flow of traffic going in one direction. So we're gonna loop around back. Here we are back outside. Uh, so it's important to note that here we have, again, two exterior doors. This is the 200s hallway, and this is the 100 hallway. Uh, these are all exit only. So students will move one way uh, from the 200s outside to the stairwell. If their next class is in the 600s, they'll loop back through this way. Uh, if their next class is in the, the 100s, 200s, 300s or 400s, they will head to the patio in that direction and go that way. Same if they're exiting uh, from the 100s. So again, this is one way. You'll only be able to exit from this door. If you have a class in the 600s, then you'll exit these doors right here and you'll walk it that way to, to access the 600s, which I'll show you in just a second. And then if you have a class in the 1s, 2s, 3s, or 4s, you'll walk back this way and access them from there. So we'll keep our video moving. Um, we will keep looping through here. Uh, so one more note, I know we mentioned this earlier in our video, but I'll mention it one more time. This is our grab and go lunch area. You see our amazing food service workers out here right now um, in this video. Uh, this is with their tables set up and with their grab and go lunches ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving past them. And here we are. Here we are. So if you are accessing campus, 
Let me back up just a fuzz. If you are accessing campus uh, from Warner Avenue and coming this way, which many of our students do, uh, you are going to walk down uh, this sidewalk and then you will with your mask on and then one of your entrances uh, will be this way. So you can head down these stairs. Uh, again, if your classes are in the 100s, 200s, 300s, or 400s, you'll walk that way and enter campus from uh, the patio area. And if you have a class in the 600s, you will enter campus through these gates uh, right here we'll kind of pull up to right now. So here we are on the opposite side. So students will uh, move through campus. Uh, they'll enter campus through these gates, which will be propped open. And they'll go up the stairs, uh, right? They're gonna go through here, this area that we refer to as the grassy knoll. And here we have a couple of more, a couple more exterior doorways that we wanted to show you. Uh, so this doorway right here is also going to be exit only. It's important to note that this door is going to be exit only. Uh, so students who have classes in the 100s and 200s will flow from campus out this doorway um, and then move to the direction that their next class is. We have one more doorway here for you right over here. That's important to point out that this will also be an exit. So if you have a class in the 300s and your next class is in the 600s, you will be permitted to exit through here um, and head outside to your class in the 600s. All right, we're gonna keep moving on through. Uh, the last thing I wanted to point out is we're back to where we started. I don't know if you notice right here, here's the sign that we flew by right at the beginning. Here is the corner of Gothard and Warner. And here's the first gate that we showed you. Again, this is an enter or exit. Uh, you can go either way through these gates. So another thing to note is that we're going to have one-way hallways. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna go back to our campus map and show you this on our campus map real quickly. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Uh, so if you notice, uh, there are a variety of green arrows here on our map. So there's green arrows here. Um, so this demonstrates the flow that we're gonna have on campus of our one-way hallways. So for example, let's say I'm a student who uh, walks in from uh, the Warner lot area. Uh, so let's say I get dropped off here and my first class is in the 300s. So I'm gonna walk this way to where I'm drawing the line. This is the patio area. I'm gonna enter campus, go through the commons and into the 300s and I'll follow these arrows right here. When class is over, I'll need to exit the 300s this way, and let's say my next class is in the 600s. So I'll walk up into the 600s, which is two-way since it's outdoors, and I'll head to my next class that way. We'll give you another example. Let's say my first class is in the 600s, and I enter campus from the corner of Gothard and Warner. I'll walk in this way, Say I go to my class in 633, uh, then my class, oops, then my class is over. And my next class is in the 100s. I'm actually gonna walk all the way outside through the 600s, outside, back to the patio, to my next class following these arrows in the 100s or 200s right here. So it's important to note, take a look at the green arrows um, again, students are going to learn this as we move through, as we practice this a few times. There's going to be staff out there to help you with this. Um, and we also have some videos to demonstrate. So here's a, we'll take a look at one of our one-way hallways. You'll, students will notice that there's signs posted throughout and on the floors. So here we are in high speed, leaving a class in the 300s. And our student 
is heading out. He's in a hurry. He doesn't want to be late to the exterior of the 300s. And here we have another example. We have our student who's coming from, let's say, the 600s, and he has a class in the 200s. He's going to walk into campus from the exterior, from the patio area, and then he's going to make his way to his class in the 200s one way through here. He's going to go, he's going to find his seat, and he is ready to learn. So a couple of things to point out real quickly right here is that we have our desks uh, physically distanced, uh, six feet apart uh, to keep our students safe. Um, we have a campus, or we have a classroom maximum um, of 18 students uh, in a class. And that's it. So we also wanted to cover a couple of additional um, safety features that we have on campus. So one of them is our hand washing stations. Uh, I'll kind of demo a couple of these for you with video. Um, please note that they are hand washing only. We don't want students to drink out of the hand washing stations. And we will have five of these hand washing stations strategically located throughout campus. So we'll have in areas that we that students will um, be passing the most frequently. All right, that covers it for today. Uh, I hope that isn't too much. Uh, we are all into this together, so please uh, remember to mask up. Um, and uh, we're excited to have you all back on campus.